because if you look at every war, no matter whether it was the Third Reich or whether it was the Spanish Inquisition or any war, any movement has always caused bloodshed. Whoever won the war always, decided what evil was. And then the victors wrote history. So you always have to keep that in mind. If King, if King George had won the American Revolution, George Washington would be remembered as one of the great evil tyrants of all time. History decides what is good and evil. But now so what if Hitler had won? If Hitler had won, obviously, your school books would say Hitler was good, everything else is evil. It's so relative that why can't we, but what, why can't the human race step here. out of this there's primitive argument million, of good and evil? Six million corpses. What about Stalin about and ten Stalin million and Polish? Let's talk about, let's what about talk the about Ukrainians? Sure. What, why, is there only one, the Ukrainians. why is there only one Holocaust, one evil? Was Stalin? What was, about in was, El was Salvador? Stalin, there are millions of people dying right now. slaughtering of the Ukraines through famine a malicious act of evil? There's no such thing as evil. It was a typical act of a human being. And if you want to look at human history from the day that we came from the primordial swamp that creation began in, what you're calling evil is part of human nature. That's part of evolution also. How many? Now, what about, what about the millions of people who were killed in Europe, accused of being witches, children and women burnt at the stake, while crowds of good, pious Christians gathered around and watched them burn for a Sunday evil. celebration. I will call that evil. I won't call it evil. I'll say I it's will human call it nature. Evil. I will call it evil, and I will take well, it then. a step further to say that it was <coughs> philosophically the antithesis and totally inconsistent with what the Bible teaches. Well, maybe the problem now, is... Now, 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 hang on. What Nazism did to the Jews was philosophically consistent with the occult Aryan ideas of Hitler. So what I'm saying is... Well, that's what you're deciding, it, because you're a Christian in 1989. The Christian church rulership in the 1600s would think you were a heretic for saying such things. So all I'm telling you is morality is a relative issue, and nobody can decide what is good and evil. Is murder relative? Murder is absolutely relative. When we sent, when I say we, I mean the American government sent our troops to Vietnam to kill people. Was it evil? Were those good murderers? Are, are there good murderers if they're wearing a soldier's uniform and bad murderers if they're not? Would you, would you say that to the mother of Sharon Tate? Yes, I would say that to you the would. mother of Sharon Tate. In fact, I... Do you, do you want to let Charlie Manson out of prison? That's a whole other issue. Do you? Charles you think Manson, he deserves to be let out of prison? Charles Manson, for one thing, I don't believe is guilty of the crimes he's been accused of. But that's a whole other issue. You're kidding. Well, how know? much do you really know? How much about do you know about Charles Manson? How much about? do you know about Hitler? Well, how much I, well, do you know well about now anything? wait a minute. We, Zena, we, we, Charlie has pretty well made his philosophy known. I mean, he's spoken clearly and openly, uh, and, and there's no, no denial on his part of his role in the Tate LaBianca well, murders, that, me, that he sent those people in no, that house to commit a bloodbath. Where'd you hear that? I can show yeah, you 20 years of quotes. Where you've heard that. Where are, said, are you saying that Charlie Manson, Manson is a rational mind? Are you saying this man is not a murderous psychotic? Is that what you're saying? By your point of view, of course not. Now, you see, well, now, what I find is interesting that, go ahead. is my father is now suddenly lumped into these ranks because all around me I hear now that my father is just like Manson and just like Hitler. And now I'm beginning no, to question. No, you, you don't. You, you don't. Many people but this do. is a common opinion. And now I'm beginning to question why. Why is my father so much like Manson? And why is he considered so much like Hitler? And why is he considered so much like even Rasputin, who completely turned the, the Russia upside down? And now I'm beginning to realize that maybe there are two sides to every story, and maybe if you examine the other sides that you don't hear about, you learn something that is a little more illuminating. Zena, I don't find it terribly surprising that uh, there should be some analogies between your father and people like Rasputin. It, uh, it seems pretty reasonable to me in terms of the ideology that uh, he set forth. It, it really is a get yours first, don't look out for the other guy, Machiavellian kind of philosophy. 
Well, that's right. But also you were referring to other people in history that I was saying you have to consider both sides of every story. There's and another now, side to Hitler? Do you think there's only one side to anything? Guy killed six million people. And that's all you know. And that's all you have no, to I know. No, I know much more about Hitler than that. But in terms of determining his moral place in history, I don't who, have any problem. Now, we're who in the same position. Who determines his moral place? Who determines it? Who has the right to determine what is good and evil? Well, of course, I would respond from the standpoint of the Christian ethic. But even even a humanist sitting in this chair. I don't like humanists any more than Christians. You don't like hum humanists either. Humanists, you have to understand this once and for all. Christians must know Satanism is not humanism. Humanism is based on Christian ethics and ideas. It just doesn't have Christ. But it has the same appalling ideas about equality, love for everybody, indiscriminate love for all living things. And we oppose those Altruism, ideas. Altruism, humanitarianism, all Humanism and Christianity there. are in bed together. They're the same thing. There's well, no well the humanists might not appreciate that, but I of hear where you're wouldn't. coming from. Of course Either they the wouldn't. White witch and as far as, pagan as far as I'm concerned, there's Satanism and then there's other people. Yeah, your, your father, uh, in the satanic rituals, really uh, puts out some zingers at the witches who want to be white witches. He says there really is no such thing. A witch is a witch is a witch. That's right. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Now, now there's where I do agree with your father. Yes. I, mean, I think you would find that you do agree on a lot of principles with the satanic philosophy. If you clearly understood and looked at it, we are saying that the well, act Well, I don't know if I'd carry that in far. In the sense that the act of manipulating and using the will and using ritual to create change is, by any definition, satanic. And anyone who does that is at least an ipso facto Satanist. So these well, witches that say they're good witches, white witches, nice witches, are as hypocritical as a Christian to me. Your, your father also says in the Satanic Witch quote uh, of psychics mm -hmm. uh, who say, God gave me the gift. These people are playing the devil's game but refusing to use the devil's name. Well, you that's right. Wouldn't you consider any form of divination or... or faith healing or um, tarot Divination reading. is biblically forbidden. I would consider it to be satanic. So we would say that anything that would fall under that category would be considered satanic. And it's not just us. I mean, this has been throughout history. And predating Christianity, there have always been those who have veered from the mainstream, whatever that mainstream was, who have gone out in the wilderness and built shacks to live in to be away from the mainstream and live their own lives the way they feel they ought to. Well, the one thing I can say, you Satanists are certainly more honest than most witches when it comes to acknowledging well, the authenticity, you might not like what the we reality have to of what say, you're doing. We're not, we, as I was saying, you might not like what we have to say, but we are honest. I mean, we, ha we don't claim to be anything that we aren't. Well, speaking of honesty, before we get off Charlie Manson, do you want to talk about what happened August 8, 1988 in San Francisco? Well, I wrote a book called The Manson File, and I've interviewed Charles Manson. I want to talk about the, the, so, the, I mean, I know the, the, the ritual issue, you clearly. held in the theater. Yeah, yeah. That was, Nicholas coordinated that. Yeah. So. yeah. And when the movie showed... The other, let me explain what happened. The Other Side of Madness, a film that was made in 1970, an exploitation film was shown. And, of course, as everyone has reported in the national media, the audience cheered during the murder sequence. Well, this is a